Welcome to this look at a new map on Farming Simulator 19 with me, Mr. CDP. So this is Fazenda Bakuri. Bakuri map, Bakuri farm, but not the other one that I did the other day. Uh, this is another version by Mods BR, 121.49 megabytes to download interestingly or weirdly the map itself is almost identical the layout is pretty much the same with regard to fields the placement of certain cell points is almost the same with a few little tweaks and changes here and there the layout of the main yard is completely different the names of the places and the buildings that are on them are completely different the foliage is different it's odd that like i say the actual basis of it is there the limestone quarry is in the same place but looks completely different so we're going to go around we're going to have a look around the map and i'm not going to compare it to the other one we'll just look at what's on this one and and what we've got but it's interesting we've got two maps almost identical from two different map makers i'd like i said i don't recall that happening before other than swiss future farm but that was for a a, a competition so what do we start with on new farmer we start with this field or this area here this field and we do start with pigs cows and sheep sheep sheeps chickens um but these are standard in-game pens there's nothing to do as we do stop the sleep trigger but that is only on new farmer the slot count is 499 out of 1299 and the slot count does go down on farm manager and start from scratch to 437 because you start with all the machinery, but you don't start with any of the buildings. We'll have a look at that in a moment. Field prices, as you might expect, are fairly high because the fields are fairly big. So, you know, we have got some slightly cheaper ones, but pretty expensive. Now, it does also say um, on the, the blurb that there is a... The headquarters of a farm has a specific field for rice, which is this field here. So on the subject of crops and crop types, we do have some additional crops we have uh brachiaria rice sorghum black beans millet and rye have been added in as we come down into the main yard area we've got i mean as you can see the foliage is it's a lot greener a kind of richer color i think with some interesting plants knocking around the yard area is about the same size as the previous one but obviously the silo is completely different this is, I think, a multi-fruit, this one. And there are some mods, but I think the mods are all silos, as far as I can tell. We've got some equipment over in the sheds over there. And as we move over this side, we've got the standard in-game farmhouse sleep trigger with a pickup in it. Which, like I say, when you come onto here on Farm Manager or start from scratch, it's not here. That building's not here. The silo's not here. And none of the pens are. Some of these buildings are fixed in place. They will be. But the sleep trigger is just inside the building there. As we move across and around the yard, we have got some more machinery here. And we've got our cow pasture. Like I said, these are standard in-game ones, so the amounts they take and the triggers and stuff are all standard. Nothing unusual. Pigs this side and chickens just over here. If we go to the edge of here, this is the field that it says it's specifically for rice. Well, I'm pretty sure. I don't think it. I don't think we have the ability to flood this one. Well, it looks like it's kind of damp around the outsides. If we come up to this corner here, we have got a water source. Oh, I don't know, you know. We've got a water source just here. And we've got our harvester tucked away here. And I've got, that's interesting now because I'm curious. Is there here? It doesn't look like it. It might just be aesthetic there that it kind of implies that it's irrigated for rice. But if we check the main map again, blue is the colour for rice. If we look over on the right hand side, fruit types, we've got uh, brachiaria and rice at the bottom. If we go across one more, sorghum, black bean, millet and rye. So our light blue is rice. So that one there, field 11, is showing rice, although it is saying that is more 
specifically for it. Contracts are available on this map. Actually, while we're here now, it's probably a good time. We'll check out. Let's go to that. We'll check out what we start with. So on the garage, 499, like I say, on New Farmer. We've got a massive Ferguson 5613, New Holland TX32, pickup, Stroutman trailer, header for the harvester, plow, cedar. We're going to get onto that in just a second as well. We have got a fertilizer spreader, animal uh, water bowser container, front loader of gear. Then we've got cow pasture, pig enclosure, chicken coop, silo, farm shelters, and farm house. Now, on farm manager and start from scratch, that will stop there. You don't have any of this, but you do still have all the machinery and equipment. If you sell all of that, you can get the slot count down to 339. The biogas plant, there is a biogas plant on here. We'll get around to that later on. Uh, what else do I want to say here? I think that's about it for this bit. So let's whiz across and grab the pickup and then we can head out around the map. Oh, that's what I was going to say. Yes, for planting and seeding. Seeders will plant everything. Seeders will plant, seeders will seed. I mean, seeding, planting, sowing. So the seeders will do all of the, the extra crop types. No problem at all. Planters, strangely, will do all of them, but not sorghum. So I'm not sure why that is. Um, but, yeah. So if you want to plant everything, seeders is the way to go. But planters will do the other stuff, just not sorghum for some reason. Let's jump in the pickup. And let's head out. Now, I said I wasn't going to compare this to the previous one. It's, it's difficult to do because as I'm going around, a couple of things I think straight away, the, the ground, the soil colours aren't as red. And there, there is definitely, a, there is a lot more foliage, there are a lot more trees. It feels more tropical, almost Caribbean in places. When we get up to the town in the northwest, it, it has a more Caribbean feel to it. It's odd. I don't know why. Um, not. I don't know why, because the map maker's made it that way. But that's the kind of feeling I'm I'm getting from it. So out to the first of the sale points. Then from the main farm, and we have got the livestock market. Actually, thinking about it now, it's going to be almost impossible not to compare it to the other one because. Certain things are in the same place. Livestock market is in the same place. Slightly different building layout, I think fencing and stuff wise. That's the animal dealer. And then we've got the grain ranch, which if you watch the previous map tour of the other version of this map, there were these massive buildings all down the side of here. We've got silos here instead with the large building around the back. So like I said earlier, the, the facilities all seem to be pretty much the same place but the actual buildings on them have changed dramatically so that's the grain ranch sell point from here we're going to go to the dairy bakuri which we can access from this main road or the side turning. A lot more built up, large buildings on this one. We seem to be hitting a lot of Brazilian maps lately. And I'm pretty sure in the mod hub today popped up another one. <laughs> Again, don't know when I'm going to get onto it. I will try, I will try my best. So, heading north from the Dairy Bakuri, we're going to head to the main store, past the fuel station, just there on the left. Main store coming up, just here. This is the reset point as well, so any problems you need to reset. Buy point is just in there if you're not using it off your sort of main tablet. Workshop trigger is just over here. So, from here at the store it's a big nice large open area you shouldn't have any problem getting large vehicles in or out and the map will allow for for 
big machinery. We're going to go up into the sort of town area. And like I say, from here, it has a kind of, I think, a kind of Caribbean-esque kind of look to it. Probably because of the palm trees and stuff as well, I suppose. Now, if we go, I think, a bit further on and turn in, we've got the market sell point just in here. Oh, I didn't show the silos, did I? I'm just saying, remembered, sorry. I've gone all out of sequence here. Right, so under mods, I said that there were some. If we go across under silos, we have got the, where we go, large grain silo, which is 200,000 litres and will hold the extra crops. We've got the standard grain silo, 100,000, which will hold the extra crops. Then we've got the large silo extension. And then that one there that just says silo, 400,000 litres, 150 grand. It's interesting, isn't it? We've got those that will have all the extra ones, but then that for less money, 150 grand, 400,000 litres, multi-fruit. We'll take everything. That's the one we've got at the main farm, I think, isn't it? Sorry, yeah. That's what I meant to show you. So, from here, we'll head out. We'll go back onto the main road rather than through the town. That's the sell point there for the market. Now, as we come up across the top of the map, this is where we've got a few changes. So, whereas before I think there was a big grain depot with the spinnery and barn next to it. The spinnery and barn has been moved, as has the sawmill. The lime point, like I said, is in the same place, the lime quarry, but looks completely, I mean, I say completely different, it's a lime quarry, but it's certainly not as, what's the best way of putting it? Not over the top, that's the wrong way of putting it. Detailed, I guess, it's not as detailed as the other one. So as we come in here, Same large facility. Things that seems to be in the same place. I did say that big water feature, but rather than having the spinnery and barn cell point here, that's been moved. We go right around the back. This isn't all fenced in either. Some of the buildings are different. There aren't the same large facilities. We've got lots of large silos. So again, the the cell points in the same location, but the location is completely different. So that's uh, Bakuri Grains. I'm going to check the map. So from the silo, the main farm, we went out, animal dealer, grain ranch, dairy Bakuri, fuel point, shop, into the market and back out. We've come across the top. Yeah, we're now at Bakuri Grains. And we're going to head across. Now this is, like I said, this is where a lot of stuff has changed. Because that was on the previous version, or, or the other version, not previous version, the other version of this map over here. The sawmill was over here. The biogas plant was further down. So this has all been changed quite a lot compared to the other version of this map. I'm going to cut across the grass here. There's no fencing. We have a lot more trees. Whoa. We'll come back on ourselves to the sawmill. It seems a lot more overgrown in the, in the northeast corner as well. Actually, can I cut across there? You know what, let's cut across. And then we can come out the other way. So, we've got sell point for lumber. Actually, just go around that side. We've got sell point for wood chips, is just here. And we've got sell point for lumber on the other side. Which is just in here. And there's a bit of forestry around the map, as you can see. There's a lot more trees, certainly, than the other version. Uh, this is the way out. This is a lot more overgrown. As I kind of did a quick whiz around the map just to have a, have a look at where the cell points were, I did miss a couple of these turnings, because like here, it's really overgrown. And it just looked like a little sort of lay-by. It didn't look like a turning to start off with. So, Lime Quarry coming up, Lime Station. And what is weird is, as I'm driving round, although the layout is the same, it feels so different. 
just by that change in foliage and more trees and it, it feels very different you wouldn't think it would you know yes there's a familiar familiar feel to it so this is definitely not as deep a quarry not as much of a spiral to get into the bottom of it but this is your line point whoops that's quite got a bit of a curb on it and back out then from here we are going on to where are we going from here i think it's the barn and the spinnery next again this one uh, yeah this one especially again you have to keep an eye out for the turning because it looks quite overgrown as you go down so we're heading south Hang on, I've got to be careful don't want to miss it there yeah. so you might have to kind of if you want to do a storyline you've, you've bought it and it's run down you need to do some work on it that might need a bit of landscaping so spinnery cell point just there barn cell point just there then out to the biogas plant now the biogas plant is was it 400 and just over 405 grand where's the turning I, I what I did which I try to do when I'm checking a map is I'll buy the biogas plant to see what things it takes and to see what the prices are whether it's a standard one at sort of 360 for silage or does it pay more will it take sugar cane sugar beet wood chips you know all that kind of thing does it take anything extra I bought this and it didn't show up on the menu so the actual biogas plant cell point is just there digestate point is just there and our silage clamps are tucked away out the back here I'll try it again now if we look on the menu there it should pop up once you buy it it will come up and it should have the prices for all the stuff if I go across should have enough to buy it biogas plant buy now go across nothing so when you buy it it's not showing up it's not showing the biogas plant so i have no idea whether or not that what crop types it takes what the prices are like for some reason it's not showing up so potentially the map may need an update to get that to work it, it just didn't for me uh from the biogas plant then back out onto the main road and we head down to the last of the cell points which i think on the previous one was pioneer wasn't it on this one it's Cooper Grains. It did make me wonder if there'd been some kind of like a Brazilian kind of competition, a little bit like Swiss Future Farm, where it'd been kind of put out there, look, this is the map. Kind of do do your own version of it sort of thing maybe it just seemed odd you know so uh in yeah we're gonna go this side don't we so cooper grains cell point over this side that's interesting we've been driving on the right hand side of the road that yet when you come in here the weighing scales on the way in and the cell point are on the left that's interesting so heading out from here no cell points to the south I think we finish in pretty much the same place so we've done lime station barn spinnery biogas plant cooper grains and it's back across to the main farm and that's this version of Bakuri Map, Fazenda Bakuri by Mods BR. I hope you found this useful and informative in some way, shape or form. If you have, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. 
If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.